If you've ever wanted to do financial research using ChatGPT, I think you're going to really like this tool that's free to try out at the moment. And it basically allows you to use the power of ChatGPT to delve into the financial information about 750 uh, top US companies here. And you can see there's a few of them down the left. You've got Apple, Microsoft, uh, Alphabet by Google, Amazon, all the big boys really, Tesla, NVIDIA. And you can just search for any particular company that you want to. There's there's actually Adobe, but if I want to, I can just type in Adobe. And then when you click on that company, you're now able to start asking information about it. And it will go through like all of their uh, quarterly reports and announcements and things because it has all of the transcripts that were taken from each of their announcements. And we can ask specific financial questions about these particular companies and also compare companies and things. So if you're looking to invest in one of these companies and you've got questions you won't really want answered, then this is going to save you a ton of time. And the way that it's laid out is really nice. It's very familiar, very similar to like chat GPT. You know, you've got dark mode and light mode and you've got your chat system right here with new chat and everything. It saves all of your previous chats. So you'll be right at home here if you want to use it for financial research. So um, what I thought I'd do is just take some uh, questions that I've got ChatGPT to come up with actually and ask this system about the various companies. So I'm just going to actually ask one right now that I've just thought of. Uh, how many cars did Tesla sell in 2021? There we go. And then you can just switch off your voice dictation, which is a good idea. And then you can just press the little arrow send button and now it will start investigating through all the data it has about Tesla. There you go. And it gives you a good uh, sort of GPT response based on the provided documents. Uh, here we go. There is no specific information on the number of cars Tesla sold in 2021. However, we know that Tesla's Automotive sales revenue increased by 79% in 21 compared to 2020. And then that, it tells you why. But, I mean, it tells you in revenue here, automotive sales revenue. I guess this is all in millions. Um, and then it tells you gross profit. It tells you the production. So I guess the number of cars they have produced at least. So it does. it hasn't told us that. If we just click show more. Here we go. Here's the Tesla report year ending uh, December 21. And you can have a little read through that. And it also tells you where it got it from. So if we just click on that, it will go through and tell you it's got it from stratosphere.io, another kind of IO website, which has got the official documentation here um, to do with Tesla. So that, that wasn't um, too brilliant in the results that it gave us because it didn't actually know. But I, I must admit, I thought Tesla did publish the number of cars that, it's, it, that it sells. But never mind, that's fine. So if we were to say, uh, what was the gross margin and operating margin for Tesla? Let's ask that now. So new chat. And then we'll just say uh, gross margin. Robert, what was the gross margin and operating margin in 2022? For Microsoft, let's try Microsoft. I tell you what, they're probably going to be making more money in the next couple of years with all the AI advancements that they're uh, coming out with, of course. So here we go. What was the gross margin? Based on the provided documents, there's no specific information on the gross margin and operating margin for Microsoft in 2022. Um, however, the transcript for the fiscal Q2 2023 earnings call provides some relevant information. The company's gross margin percentage was 67%, but this figure was impacted by a change in accounting estimate. Uh, and then it just goes on to give you all of these different stats and stuff. And then the the operating income's right there, cloud operations income. So it's giving you the information as a breakdown in the different sectors of Microsoft as well. 
So quite an interesting system. I like the way that you can, you know, like I say, see all of your previous chats as well. And I think for some people who are um, very interested in researching all of these companies, it's going to do a pretty good job. Um, let's just see if we can ask something else like about risks and challenges. Let's say that. Um, let's just go with um, what are the risks and challenges of Apple's business? There we go. And let's see if there are any risks and challenges to Apple's business. Again, another rock solid thing here. But according to the provided documents, one of the main risks and challenges for Apple's business is the impact of the COVID-19 pandemic on the global economy and supply chain, uh, chain disruptions. It caused significant volatility and disruption in global markets. And then anyway, it goes on to say Apple's total net sales increased 11% during the first quarter of 2022 compared to the same quarter in 2021, driven by growth in iPhone services and Mac. Um, so it's, it just might help you to go through and get information easier than you yourself, obviously reading through all of these documents. It must be crazy. Let's try a, a much simpler question. Um, here we go. Who had the highest profit margin in 2021 out of Microsoft and Apple? Now, let's see if we can dig something out like a simple question like that. Based on the provider, again, it comes out with the same thing. It's not possible to determine which company had the highest profit margin. Um, the documents provide data on the revenue and gross profit of different segments of their companies, but not the profit, a profit margin. OK, let's just go with just gross profit then um, rather than a margin. So I'll just copy that and then I'll just start a new chat. And this time we'll say gross, uh, the gross profit, the highest gross profit. There we go. Hopefully that will, will get us a more... Well, any answer would be good, wouldn't it? Where it was just conclusive. Uh, again, not possible. Which company had the highest gross profit? The documents provide blah, 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 blah. Additionally, the data provided for Microsoft only goes up to the quarter ending December 2021, while the data for Apple goes up to September 2022. So they can't compare the metrics from both companies. So... In my opinion, I think this software has got work to do. I don't I can't imagine that um, it's not possible to determine who had the highest gross profit between those two uh, companies. I know that a lot of them are all split up and everything. Perhaps that's the reason. But other than that, I really don't I really don't know. Maybe I have to come up with a more specific prompt like and actually say, include all of their companies or something like that to get a result out of this. But the idea at least is is pretty good. I'm going to try one more question, this time for Visa. Um, there we go. Are Visa's gross profit margins increasing each year? Let's, oh, it's done hour. So with it being chat GPT, it should actually be able to determine what I meant by that R instead of hour. Um, based on the provided documents, there's no clear indication that Visa's gross profit margins are increasing each year. Um, but if we look for ourselves here, that is true, really. The gross profit margin is, is pretty, pretty decent, though. Hey, 80 odd percent. And then it goes from uh, September 20 there, 79%, uh, 79, and then up to 80. So it, it isn't increasing year on year, but it, at least it gives us all of the uh, the information at our fingertips there, the annual information and the quarterly information so that we can have a look. So it's I think it's worth having a little play around with this and just to see if you can maybe improve the quality of the prompts. See, for this video, I'm doing them very quick and easy, but maybe if you improve the quality of your prompts, you get better answers out of it. And if you uh, are not sure on what to ask it and what information might help you uh, to actually 
pick good questions to ask, then this is what I did. Let me just move this over into the window there for you. There you go. These are our good questions according to chat GPT. And this was using version four of questions that you um, can ask. Now, I, my prompt was I'm interested in investing in some major US companies like Netflix, Microsoft and Tesla. What would be some good questions to ask a database of all their figures and quarterly results? And then it's given me all of these different things from revenue growth to return on equity, debt to equity ratio, uh, dividend yield and payout ratio. Now, it's possible, I'm not sure, because I don't have the browser access yet for my chat GPT. I can't wait till I do, but I would imagine it will be able to go and obtain this information for itself and be able to uh, answer these questions as well. We already know that, again, you know, with the plugins, you're able to go and upload uh, spreadsheets, for example, into chat GPT and it will analyze all of that financial information and then present to you any answers that you want to uh, know about that document. So I, I think it's I think it's going to be a, a really good tool once it's refined. But at the moment, I still think it's a, a little bit sketchy. But the link is underneath this video um, if you want to go and try it out. As you get some free credits. So if we just click upgrade, here we go. Um, you get ten credits, I think, daily. And then also, if you want to upgrade for more prompts, then you just pay $20 a month for it. And then I think also as well, if you recommend it, you get more prompts. They give you some prompts for recommending and sharing uh, the link. So that's pretty cool. Um, now, if you want to join uh, my free community, which has now gone over 4,000 members uh, it, since we launched only about, I don't know, two months ago, maybe. And... Uh, we all talk about chat GPT and AI and we geek out on this stuff. And if that sounds like you and you want to learn how to use chat GPT for business purposes, for personal, whatever you want to do, you're going to love it in here. People are sharing prompts and software and goodness knows what and uh, posting like mad. And a lot of people check in here daily now. So basically just get uh, the latest and greatest information on what's going on with ChatGPT and AI. So if you want to join that, please feel free. The link is underneath this video as well. And that's it. More videos coming in a second. And I'll see you again real soon.